Toyota clearly believe that electric cars are not the future. We, we already all know that, right? But we didn't know this. We didn't know that Toyota is saying that they think EVs are never going to take off. In fact, Toyota's chief, the head honcho of Toyota, has just said electric cars will only ever capture 30% of the car market, 30%. Now we've just seen predictions within the past two months from several big organizations in America, the UK and Europe saying that by 2030, EVs will make up at least 70% of global auto sales. Clearly Toyota didn't get that memo. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel, I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking, great to see you. As you can see, I've just moved into a new We've moved into a new house here. It's just down the road from where we were living before. The owners of the house where we were living, they've just decided to sell. So yeah, we've moved here. It's taken me a few days. It's a hell of a lot of work to move. It takes so much effort. I'm really, really tired. Uh, I was covered in sweat today. It was 37 degrees Celsius, really, really hot. And this kind of makes me think, you know what? It's so hard to move that sometimes you just don't want to do it. I think the same applies to Toyota. It's so hard to change. You just don't want to change. You want to move away from the old to the new. Interestingly, Nissan's CEO was told by his wife, his wife, his wife said to him, you know what? I know you love the old stuff. I know you love the legacy auto, what we do now in internal combustion, but you've got to change. If you don't change, Nissan will cease to exist. And Nissan's CEO just revealed that information. Maybe the wife of Toyota's CEO needs to say the same thing to him. Toyota's CEO believes that EVs can only ever capture 30% of the market with hybrids and hydrogen vehicles taking up the rest. So as you can see, clearly Toyota is fully all in on hydrogen, which they've invested billions of dollars into, and of course on hybrids. But what exactly will Toyota sell in all these different countries? I mean. Europe is saying 2035, we're going EV only. Canada's saying that too, California's saying that. Many, many countries are, are saying it's only a matter of time before they ban the sale of internal combustion engine vehicles. That includes hybrids. I don't know what Toyota plans on selling. Toyota has faced its fair share of criticism from activists and investors due to its, um, not just its sluggish production of EVs, it barely makes any at all to be fair, but also it, the fact that it is clearly lobbying, investing a lot of money into dissuading people from buying an EV and into trying to con convince them that if they buy a hybrid, they're buying an electric car, which we know is, um, you know, trying to mislead people who don't have a full understanding. The rationale behind Toyota's theory, though, is that its chairman's recent comments expose he believes EVs will only ever account for 30% of electric of car production worldwide. So why care? Why bother? It's a niche market. And it's only ever going to be a niche market. That's what Toyota CEO is clearly saying. Akio Toyota, the current chairman and the former CEO of Toyota, who, make no mistake, still controls everything going on, he's the grandson of the company's founder. He shared these remarks at a recent event. He also said, no matter how much progress EVs make, hybrid vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, and hydrogen combustion engines will constitute 70% of the automotive market. Now, there is no one in the industry, no one who agrees, no one in their right minds uh, remotely agree with these comments. He's the only person making these kinds of statements. This reminds me a little bit of that movie Blackberry. You know, when they said in the, in the movie, they said, no one's gonna ever make phones in China because it, it won't work, it's, they're crap, they suck, it's never gonna happen. And then, well, Blackberry, you know, they, they tried it and it didn't work for them because they didn't do it properly and they failed and they went bankrupt. That's why Toyota Motor Corporation, he said, which is competing all over the world, has a full lineup of multi-pathway products. Now, this was, response was translated from Japanese. He said, Powertrain technology is something that customers and the market will decide, not regulatory values or political power. Now, here's the thing. We've already hit nearly 15% market share worldwide for EV sales today. Experts are saying by 2030, 
EVs will be cheaper than internal combustion engine vehicles in every country worldwide. Uh, realistically, if we've already hit 15%, when most EVs have been more expensive, what happens when they're cheaper? I think it's pretty obvious. Toyota has argued that approximately 1 billion people worldwide lack access to electricity. I would say most people, if they lack access to electricity, probably lack access to buying a new car as well. That's 1 billion out of 8 billion. Anyway, the International Energy Agency said that actually Toyota was lying. That figure is 750 million. So it's less than 10% of the world's population. And the other thing is, it's much easier to create electricity from solar panels, for example, than it is to import oil, refine it, turn it into gasoline, petrol, and then use it that way. Toyota CEO said a single electric vehicle cannot provide transportation for everyone. But he's wrong here because people who live in poorer countries who buy um, vehicles in these poorer countries are not buying cars. They don't. In fact, much more important than the global car market in these poorer countries, which he's referring to, these 700, not the 1 billion he claims, but the 750 million people he's talking about, they don't even buy cars anyway. They make the smarter decision. Uh, they buy, what are they buying? They're buying electric bicycles, electric motorbikes, or just motorbikes, bicycles, some kind of transportation that's affordable. That is not really relevant to Toyota's market anyway. Of course, he's just cherry picking up cherry picking made up stats to try and support his hypothesis. Toyota's mission is to reduce CO2 emissions. It claims not to convert to electric or fuel cell vehicles. He said no one, mainly the media, is giving us an explanation for why EV technology is the solution that is promoted as the best pathway forward. But that's not quite true. We all know that tailpipe emissions cause cancer. The World Health Organization through numerous studies, I'm talking hundreds of studies, has published this data. The emissions from tailpipes cause cancer. They cause many different kinds of illnesses. So obviously that's irrelevant to him because he doesn't have that himself. He hasn't been affected for some reason, so therefore it's not a factor. Now the truth is EVs pollute much less than gasoline and diesel powered vehicles and they're part of a closed loop system. A battery, for example, will never get thrown into the rubbish. If there's any YouTube videos you see telling you that that's happening, they are lying to you. Lithium in batteries is extremely valuable. It's recycled. Maybe not a tiny mobile phone battery. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But a battery pack in a car is generally worth even 5,000 US dollars simply being recycled. So if someone offers to take your old EV from you for free, they're doing you a service, getting rid of that old terrible battery, they are tricking you. They're a con artist because they know they can make money by recycling that battery pack. Keep in mind, the manufacture of hydrogen and synthetic fuels is highly energy intensive. Research says that their widespread adoption in passenger vehicles increases the need for electricity so much that it makes us dependent on coal and other polluting power generation technologies. Therefore, these fuels should be saved for industries that can't electrify, like long haul trucking, potentially um, other areas such as manufacturing plastics, areas where we need oil. It's essential, there's no other alternative. Now, Toyota and Toyota himself the CEO or the president now has opposed all EV policy worldwide in any country. The company has wielded its political power to resist laws enforcing them, says carscoops.com. Although the company continues to develop alternative powertrain technologies, since the chairman left his post as CEO, the company has increasingly focused on producing um, concept cars concept cars EVs that they believe will hopefully appease Toyota's investors. Is it working? Well, I don't know. But in my opinion, much more important than appeasing investors is staying alive. I think Toyota is on the precipice of becoming the next Kodak. Thanks for watching.